joining us today. This is Ahmed Samir. I'm part of the product team uh, in Pearson, Dubai. And today we have our special guest, Professor Sufyan from ADU University, who will share with us the best practice and the great experience of uh, using the technology with the student inside and outside the classroom. So uh, the floor is yours now. Please. Thank you, Mr. Uh, thank you, Mr. Samir. Hello, everyone. Okay. So I would like to share with you some of my uh, small experience. Okay, when teaching. Uh, using the technology and uh, especially in these days where you know we are forced to work from home okay so how we, it's a big challenge because this may be some faculty this is the first time they are teaching online okay so i'll try to share with you okay some of my experience uh okay now uh uh, at uh, our university, we are using uh, Microsoft Teams. Okay. Uh, so I, myself, I am teaching mathematics. So I'm teaching the for engineering student. So I'm teaching calculus and statistics course. So to share, uh, to communicate with the students. Okay. Now is it okay? The voice. So. Uh, so we are using uh, Microsoft Team, and uh, myself, I'm using uh, OneNote Class Notebook. Okay. So uh, since now we are teaching uh, from home, so uh, I need to show the students how I solve the problems. Okay. Okay. I'm teaching. Uh, is that as not the courses that you teach? And okay, I'm I'm teaching at Abu Dhabi University. And I'm teaching uh, calculus courses and uh, linear algebra, differential equations, uh, statistics, stat one and stat two, discrete mathematics. So, uh, what else? I think yeah. So it's a variety of courses. So, uh, so I connected the student with uh, Microsoft Teams, okay, through uh, Office. <coughs> And uh, I use a class notebook. So I have my uh, Surface Pro uh, with a stylus. So as you can see in the screen, okay, so I can write and uh, this will be shared directly with the students. So the student, they see this uh, online, okay? So the good thing about the, this class note is that, as you can see in the next slides here, okay, there are three spaces. There is uh, the collaboration space. So this space, it can be used by uh, the student and by the faculty. So they can write and you can see uh, online their writing. There is the content library. The content library, this is only for the faculty. So you can put your stuff, your material. You can solve the problems. And as you can see here under the names of the student, there are class notes handouts homework quizzes. So this it is for the student. So the student can write and you can see, okay, his uh, <clears throat> answers and you can also correct. When you, you, you do your remarks, you write your remarks, it will be seen also by the students, okay? So I find this is a great tool <clears throat> uh, for teaching math, okay? Because it's not the other subject like English or other subject, they don't, have to write many things or to, to solve problems. But for us, it's important that we solve the problems. So this was a, a great tool uh, to use. Okay, And uh, the class notebook is connected with the Blackboard. So it's linked with the Blackboard. The student, they can access it from Blackboard. OK. Uh, also, you can do the attendance. You can take the attendance here. You can make uh, video calls. The office hour also are done by using uh, Microsoft Teams, okay? So it's uh, really a very good uh, feature. Okay, now, now for, for our courses, we are using different uh, learning management system, okay? Depending on the textbook, okay? So I did use a lot, uh, 
I did use lots of elements. I, I use Pearson, my Laplace. I did do, I'm using Wiley Plus for statistics. I'm using also uh, Connect Math for Magro here. I'm using Web Assign. Okay. So I try, I try uh, almost all, all the LMS. Okay. And uh, frankly, the, I, I find that the best one is the, the one of Pearson. Okay. I will tell you now why. What, what are the features that you don't find in the others? Okay. So this this is what you are seeing now. This is the home page for my Calculus 2 course. Okay. So this is the, you have the calendar here. You have, if you put an announcement, you put the homework. Of course, this is in, uh, integrated also with the Blackboard. So the student, they can uh, connect through Blackboard. Okay. I used to do the, the exams online, everything online. Okay. Using uh, my lab class. Okay. Now, uh, this is one feature that you don't find in the others, okay, LMS, okay, uh, learning management system, uh, the study plan. The study plan, it's uh, a bank of questions where the student, they can practice, okay? And you can track their performance and also uh, they can find the helps next to each question. So this is very important. So the student, they can practice. As you can see here, for example, this is one, you see one, one section only. And you see you have how many questions, almost 30 or more, okay? And the student, as you can see here, they can select the objectives. So when they select the objectives, the question related to this objective will be shown to the students. And you see, Next to the question, there is an icon, this purple icon. This purple icon, okay, show the student that this question needs more study. Okay, this is how it works. The study plan, okay, when all the students, they have the same study plan. But when they, they do the homework, okay, so they will do different mistakes, the students. So the system will update the study plan of each student according to his mistake. So when, when this update is done, this icon will be shown to the student. It means this question, you did, you did a mistake similar in the homework or in the exam. So you need to work this question. Okay. Now, this is the help that the student will get. Okay. Now, for example, this is a question, evaluate the integral. Now, here they have the helps. Okay. So you see, help me solve this. So if you click the student here, this, the, the system will solve the question and also the steps will be shown to the students. Of course, many faculty, they don't like this feature, okay? So if you don't like it, you can remove it. And the option, that is the option, you can remove it. Then you have view an example. So the student will be shown another example, similar to this one, but the numbers will be different, okay? The videos, there is an e-professor. He will show you how to solve the question. The textbook, if you click on the textbook, uh, he will get the page related to this question. So the student does not need to look uh, what is this, uh, which page I have to open to find the help for this question. It will, the system will directly take you, take him to the page related to this question. Then ask my instructor, this is also, I like it, because when the student, he has a question, for example, regarding this problem, the student does not need to write the problems because when he click, ask, ask my instructor, the instructor will get a link related to this question. So there is no need for the student to write the question for, to ask questions, okay? The question will be sent automatically. Okay, so this is, you see, this is what I was talking about, okay? So ask my instructor, you see? So here in the box, the student will write, and the question, okay, will be sent to the faculty. Okay, now the other feature important in the study plan is the objectives. 
Okay. As I said previously, uh, in the study plan, there are many objectives, and each object objective consists of a set of questions. So you see now, this is these are the objectives. So, for example, you have one section here. So it will be shown how many the student, how many points, how many points he earned, how many objective he mastered. Now these objectives are important because I did a study me, because sometimes I saw that many students they work in the study plan, they spend time, they solve problems, but their grade did not improve. So I did a research to find out what was the reason. Okay. So I did the study and I published a paper in a journal. I found out that there is a correlation between the grades and the objective master. So it's not enough that the student solve the problems, only solve the problems. He needs to master the objectives. And as I said, the objectives is connected to a set of questions. And the objective, it is connected also to the learning outcome in the syllabus. Okay, so if the student he, he mastered the objectives, then the grades, as you can see here in the uh, scatter plot, uh, the grades will, in, uh, will improve. Now, another feature which also uh, is very helpful, especially now for the who's teaching online, it's called the learning catalytics. The learning catalytics, this is okay, you have uh, a set of uh, uh, a bank of questions. It's a Pearson question, and also it's all the community. Community, all the instructor who are using my Laplace, and they share their question. You will find them in the list in the bank here. Now, so before the lecture, you can prepare one or two questions, and during when you give the lectures, okay, then you want now to ask the students. So just because you have already prepared the question. Okay, there is you click in the button and the question will be published to the students. Okay, during the lecture. So you publish the question. So the student, they will answer. And as you can see here, you will get the responses. How many they did correct, how many wrong. Okay. So you can do it like every 20, 25 minutes. You ask your students so you can get feedback if they are now uh, did understand the subject or not. Okay. And there are plenty, plenty, thousands of, uh, of questions. Okay. Now, this is very important, you know, very important. It's, uh, uh, to track the student's performance. So this is one of my courses, Calculus 2, okay? I think that was in fall 16, 17, okay? So here you have the name of the students. Now here they have the question they have worked, how many questions they have worked and how many questions they did work correct. Then how many objectives they did master also. And how much time did they spend solving problems. And also here you have quiz me. You see the student when they, he practiced the question from the study plan, he can quiz him, quiz himself. Okay, so it's a short quiz, about five, six questions, and he will get uh, he will get his mark. Okay, so this is also a good feature that the student he can uh, quiz himself. Okay, so this is uh, it's really great this one. Okay, I really really like it because I remember uh, last year one parent he he came and he told me that okay, his daughter she got a bad mark and. And she was always uh, working at home. So I tell them, okay, just give me one minute. So I open this uh, study plan here in front of him, and I show him that his daughter, okay, did spend like I remember one hour only in the whole the semester. Okay, so this is you have the proof. Okay, who's working, who's not working. Of course, some students they can open the system and they leave and they leave it open, and the time will be running, but. You can see the question they have solved. Okay. For example, if a student he spent 20 hours and he solved only two questions, it's very easy to know that he did not uh, spend much time. Okay. So what is important is how many questions he did solve and how many objectives he did master. 
Once you have this, so you can identify your weak student, your at risk student. Okay, so you can make a plan uh, how to improve their marks. Here, this is uh, another feature in uh, my lab class. Uh, it's exam analysis. So this is uh, an exam which I did uh, online. Okay. So the exam had uh, 26 questions. So if you see, for example, the first question, okay, I can uh, find how many students they did answer this question correct and how many they did it wrong. Okay. And the average time span. So like this, you know, okay, which uh, subject, well, which part of the chapter, well, of the section, the student, they did not uh, understand or they have a hard time. So it's easy to identify this. For example, if you have one question, like here, for example, 11, only 11 correct out of 26. So you know that this subject maybe it's a little bit difficult or you have to spend more time to explain it to the student. Yeah. Now, the other thing we have is the multimedia library. You know, many people, I have uh, colleagues with me, okay, they're using the Blackboard. Now, they have to upload the slides, they have to upload the videos, okay, and uh, I remember two days ago we had a problem because they, uh, in the Blackboard, because faculty, they upload, you know, large videos, large size videos, so the good thing about my class, you don't need to upload anything. Because the student, they will go to the multimedia library, they select the chapter, the sections, then they click find now. So they will find the slides, they will find the ebook, they will find the videos, animation, everything is there. So you don't need really to upload anything. It's hassle free, really. Okay. So everything is there for the student. This is also, you see here, this is podcast video. They are available also for the students. Okay. They can uh, listen to the lecture or see the video. This is an animation. This one, for example, when I taught Calculus 3, you know, Calculus 3, we, we, we teach the how to see the function in 3D. Okay. So the students, they, they have a hard time to visualize things in 3D. So I run this animation for them, okay? So they can see how things works in the, in the space. So, the MATLAB, my MATLAB tool for success. So you have interactive online textbook. You have video lectures, track and tutorial exercises, and additional tools for learning during homework assignments. The advantages of my math lab, so students can work at home pace, okay? The student can work in the lab or at home. The students receive instant feedback on work. The homework and physics test and final exam are completely graded. All the student activity is recorded, so as you see, uh, I said before, you can charge everything. And the availability of faculty and instructor support. Now, this is uh, a study which I did, okay, uh, I have some time, because I have faculty uh, who teach without using the MML, okay, the normal class, okay. So, I have compared the grade of the students who are using MML and uh, uh, who's not using MML. Are the sound clear? Okay, I'm seeing the sound is not clear. Can you tell me, guys, if the sound is clear? Okay. So, the grade distribution, okay, between the students. So, as you can see here, in red are the grades of the students who are taught uh, using MyLab Plus, okay? And their exams also uh, online using MyLab Plus. The other student, they did not use MyLab Plus. Their exams are hard copy. So, we see that, you know, there is... Uh, a big difference for the 
the student above A, above 90, okay? But for the weak students, it's almost similar, okay? But overall, it's much better, the grades are much better, okay? Now, this is, this is uh, a survey which I did to my students, okay? So the question, MML provide adequate practice to understand the concepts, okay? So between strongly agree and agree, it's almost 90, 96%, okay? So MML adequately prepared me for exams, so around 88% agrees. MML allowed me to get a better grade in the course. 76% they agree and strongly agree. Okay. My understanding of the course increased as a result of using MML, so 85% they agree, strongly agree. I would recommend MML to another student taking this course, 88%. I prefer online exam using MML over paper and pencil exams. Now this is 83. Okay, uh, the reason also uh, I asked the last question, because some students, they said, we don't want the online exams, we want to, to uh, have a hard copy, so we get marks for uh, our solving, okay? But these are very few students, you know, like you see here, 12% only, okay? How many respondents? I think, if I remember, uh, around uh, 150 or something. I don't now remember the exact number, but it was a big number, okay. So online assessment tips and tricks to avoid cheating. So now, since we are now teaching uh, from home, okay, so the question of the integrity, uh, how the student they can not cheat in the exam this is a big issue now for all of us okay so i know that we cannot uh, we cannot say that the student will not cheat 100 percent but we will try to minimize okay the cheating okay so here's some some advice to minimize the cheating uh, we are still discussing at Abu Dhabi university how we're going to do this there is a feature with the blackboard with the uh, monitor webcam okay we are discussing to use this okay so there is the lockdown browser for pearson so the lockdown browser when you put the lockdown browser the student they cannot open any other windows okay so they cannot open browser they cannot open anything with lockdown browser but still the student he can bring another computer next to him and uh, open okay because in math okay if the student they want to cheat they will uh, copy the question and put it in the website like uh, there are many websites you know they they, they solve with a, they solve the problem and they show you the steps like like wolfram for example okay so this is a big problem for us okay so we are trying now to uh, discuss with blackboard so we can use the monitor webcam so you can monitor the student by webcam and also we, we will use the lockdown browser yes on lockdown browser so the student they cannot open anything in their computer the other uh, advice is to make uh, the exam short okay yeah proctor you as well in pearson uh this we have to discuss it with you okay uh, maybe it's an option also I can discuss it with you after, uh, if you want, uh, uh, Ms. Dalila, Ms. Dalila, sorry. Okay, so make the final exam short, okay? Now, you can ask the student to scan you, uh, to scan and email you their work, their calculation. You have to do the password for the exam, okay? Include at least uh, one critical thinking essay question. And use question pool. Question pools is important, okay? The question pool, it's really important. So you can choose 
I can show you here. Now this is the, for example, uh, the option you have to, to set up the home, the, the exam or the homework, okay? So here you have, we have a feature here in uh, Myla Plus, okay? You have to click here, student are expected to complete the test in one session. Then you block the access. This is important. So when you block the access, the student, they cannot uh, access other assignment or question while taking the test, okay? So then you have to put the time limit. You have to scramble the question order, okay? Then here, you see, here when you select the question here, you see here in, in uh, blue, it's written pulling question. So I did this example to show you. So for example, the question one, we have, you know, how many ones? One, 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 four ones. It means the system <clears throat> will choose the first question among these four questions. So the student, they will get different question. The first question, okay, it can be choose the first or the second or the third or the fourth. So like this, the student, they will get different exams also. Okay, that's uh, important. So, uh, thank you. And uh, if you have a question, you are welcome to, uh, to answer them. Anyone has a question? I think we are fine, Dr. Sofian. Uh, thank you very much for um, all your time and effort and uh, your great experience with using the mic. Um, as you can see here, everyone, last slide today is um, if you are interested to use the MyLab and Mastering with your course, just scan from your mobile now the QR code and it will take you direct to the survey link. Uh, where you can activate your account or request a new account uh, from scratch. And um, if you want to be in, um, uh, in touch with the account manager, just fill the form, submit it, and the account managers uh, will, will contact you to give you an access to try the MyLab of Mastering with your students or even the learning catalytics. And if you would like to hear more about our uh, webinars for next week, just go to the Middle East uh, website and go direct there you'll find the list of webinars and you can follow and more than welcome to join any webinars so once more really thank you very much dr Ian, for your time today and for the great session um, thank you. We, we'll share the recording online and we will share the presentation as well so everyone can fi find the recording online in the middle east uh, pearson website and let us know if you have any questions.